Hey guys, Rob here from the Off-Grid Tiny House. Got some interesting developments. Got a package here that came. I'm going to open up. Um, I got to do a little repair on video for you. And um, found a old lantern in the crawl space after we cleaned it out. We didn't even know we had it. And I'll have to clean that up and bring that over to the tiny house. Um, as an additional uh, additional guide. This one is called the D-I-E-T-L, I guess. Glass needs probably a little cleaning. Needs a good cleaning up. I'll do that eventually. But for now, one of my LED light bulbs at the parents' house has um, the um, glass here comes off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna on the outside ring of this I'm gonna put some super glue so that's what it looks like guys by the way um, it's got the lights on all the way around and these have been pretty good um, got those out of the States the US for I call the US the States because they're States right <laughs> so we got some Titan super glue thick gel bond skin instantly I hope I don't bond any of my skin okay that's open get the handy dandy knob here or nozzle and I'm just gonna do a layer along the outside just a, just a tiny bit um, just enough so it'll hold of course right so oh shit got some on there <laughs> But uh, I'll carefully put this inside. And then I will line it and twist. And now that super glue should glue that onto there. Hopefully. Now I gotta get, make sure I don't get this on the carpet. So let's do that. And that'll be okay for now. And that was out of the bug out bag worked pretty good so I'll just let that sit for a half hour shouldn't take that long because it's instant and then this thing will be good to go I guess it's just the crappy glue they put it on um, screwed that up so whatever so we'll put that guy over there for now I got some on this wire just not very good there okay on to the uh, package here guys we'll open this guy up now I pretty sure I know what this is however I'm gonna be careful with my knife here because this is some type of fabric Okay. This is something I ordered from Wish. And it is a... It's for the survival gear. Bug out bag. I ordered it in this color. comes in a nice pouch here Chinese as you can say <laughs> to tell ching chong ching ching chong um, so I'll open this up and we'll see what we got now this is gonna 
Look at the size of this thing, guys. This is going to take up a lot less space in my bug out bag. And I'll show you what this is replacing once I'm able to open the bag up. Come on, you. Pull the pull string back. It's fighting me. Come on. Come on. Okay, apparently I gotta undo this knot to get this thing to open up. Or at least loosen the knot. <laughs> yeah, so we just about got the crawl space cleaned up. And tomorrow the spray foam guy's gonna come over and take a look. Give us a quote, but I know we're doing it, so as long as it's not like a ridiculous price, I don't think it will be because we used this company before. Same company who did my tiny house, actually. Okay, here we go. We got her open. So let's see what we got inside here, guys. Okay, we have some cordage of some sort and this is apparently what they call parachute cloth and I will be using this as a hammock Oh, so the bag's actually literally attached to the unit. So, it's got some carabiners. Oh, these are heavy-duty carabiners. They're already knotted and tied, ready to go. There's the two ends. Now, I'm going to have to open this up in a large I'm gonna bring the camera with me and set this up uh, and spread this out on in a room that I actually have space in I'm in this little area here that has no friggin room so I will remove myself from the room and set up and show you what this thing looks like alrighty guys this is a hammock that I ordered to replace the tent um, that is taking a lot of room and weight up in my bug out bag. Now, I'm going to pull out the bug netting and roll this out over the hammock and that way I have bug protection as well because this doesn't have built in uh, netting. So I'm gonna go grab that, cut to fit the hammock and go from there. Now this, is, this parachute cloth is rated for um, what was it? They had an elephant standing on this thing. Um, it's like, um, I know elephants weigh like tons, but, um, I think it was like 350, 350 pounds or something like that. And it's relatively cheap. Um, and it's got its own, its own pouch folds itself back in on itself, which is really nice. The hands are already pre-done with carabiners for you which is really awesome I thought so I don't have to um, you know get crazy and then they give you extra line uh, for probably going around trees or platforms so I'm gonna go grab the netting and we'll throw it up over this it'll give me a decent measurement of what I need and then I just cut off the excess that I and then That'll that'll be my netting for the um, for the setup basically. So I will return. All right, guys, bug net here out of the bug out bag. Um, I don't mind cutting this because why not have it pre done up and then you're good to go.
Now the zippers and stuff I can probably get rid of. Definitely chop that. And then I can make more than one out of this netting for sure. Because basically once you're in the hammock guys, you're just going to throw this on top. And then, you know, you're good for the night type of thing. So, let's see. What about lengthwise here? That's about it there. That's about perfect, actually. So if I start chopping away, we should be good. Move the cord from underneath. There, the netting, I mean. Oops. Readjustments. Alright, that should be decent. It gives you plenty of extra for hangover on both sides. So I'll start chopping away and this should be just fine. And then I actually can get a double piece out of this, which is nice. out of that netting. Kind of cool. Now you can kind of not have to be you don't have to be real accurate on this part because you're gonna have some hangover for sure. You want that a little bit extra. Never killed anybody, so Yep, so we'll have to hang this and try it out. Might even rig something up in the tiny house for itself, and that would be nice. And then if you're even bigger, you can reinforce these with along the, the back, on the, along the bottom side here. Run some paracord on, make it like an X pattern. And that'll help put less strain on the end pieces. So.
Now I can turn the rest of this stuff into um, <laughs> Snozzler into um, protective headgear or whatever. So that's a whole nother unit right there. So that should work really nice, as you can tell. Lots and lots to play with there. And I got lots of extra here on the side, so you can pull in as much as you want type of thing. So that's going to work out pretty damn good. I can actually include that in the pouch itself. I think I will do that. Fold it all up together and we'll do that. So that's the hammock guys. Pretty awesome. And uh, not that expensive on Wish. You can get it in different colors and so on. So that's it for now. Okay guys, I was uh, able to get everything back in its bag so it doesn't take too much room at all there's my hand that's how much um, it looks like I didn't um, put the uh, netting in there with it because it it just wouldn't fit so I'm gonna have to roll up the netting separately um, but that's fine and this should definitely make my bug up bag a lot lighter and um, and go on from there. Alrighty guys, um, this guy's packed up. I packed up the bug netting to match, so it's like two little sacks here. And then I still have all this bug screen left over for other times, and I use, I cut some of the string off the other um, uh, bug netting and wrapped it all the way around here, lots of cordage. Um, to keep everything tight so that these two should replace a lot of stuff I'm gonna go show you what these two will replace so just a minute here we'll get over there